Good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, you can do better than that. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, well, welcome to the annual Honors Day Award in Madison City. Uh, we are here to honor you and glad to give you these awards because we expect the best of you and you have given your best. Back in 1985, my life was changed because of someone here at this college. Um, I grew up as a, as a poor child that was the fifth of six kids, and going to college is not even on my radar because no one in my college, no one in my family had been to college, and no one in my immediate family, no one in my, you know, including my first or second cousins, just no one in my family, it just wasn't something that, that we did. But at my high school graduation, Although I ranked uh, in the top 10 of my high school graduation, college wasn't on my radar. But they asked me to sing the Lord's Prayer at graduation. After graduation, a man from Gaston State came up to me, very violently, and he said, I've got a scholarship for you if you want to come and sing in my choir at Gaston State. <laughs> it sort of shocked me because I was shy. I was withdrawn, and I didn't know what to do. And all these uh, questions were in my head about, you know, I can't afford college. I can't, you just can't do that. He said, come up to my office on Monday morning, I'm in Wallace Hall, you come and talk to me. So I got home and I said, I said, Mom, there, there was this strange man that came and talked to me at graduation, and he told me that I could go to college for free. And she said, well, do you want to go? And I said, well, Yes, ma'am. I said, I've always wanted to be a, a teacher. And she said, well, just go on up there and talk to me. That man, a professor at Gaston State, recognized my potential. And six degrees, six college degrees later, that potential is still thriving. I want to thank George McSpadden, the choir teacher here at Gaston State, for doing that to me. And we are here today to honor you because we all honor you because we know that your potential is there. So without further ado, let's get started on this program. I'd like to introduce Dr. Kathy Murphy from our, our president of Gaston State Community College. Uh, please welcome her to the program. I appreciate you sharing that with us. Hey, we're here to celebrate you. I want you to know from my office as the president and on behalf of our executive cabinet how proud we are of you, that we are proud for you. A lot of uh, time, effort, energy, and resources went into your being able to be here today. And I want you to acknowledge all of that. Perhaps there were times when others were distracted, and yet you kept your laser focus. And as a result of that, today we get to thank you and applaud for you and to acknowledge and recognize you. This is my first occasion as your president to be able to be in a room with this many students and this many of our faculty and staff and community. And I'm almost getting this is awesome to be able to have this occasion. So let me again acknowledge you, thank you for the work that you have done. Uh, keep up the good work. You know, this is just one check mark along the journey, and I just encourage you to maintain your focus and continue to do the great things that you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Murphy. We're glad you're here to your guests and stay. Welcome. We'll begin with our Jacksonville University uh, Scholarship, Jacksonville State University Scholarship. Every year, Jacksonville State University is pleased to offer transfer scholarships to students here at Jackson State based on their academic achievements. Mrs. Roxanne Stansel is here today to present scholarships on behalf of Dr. Don Hillensburg, Jr., President of Jacksonville State University. 
And they wanted me to tell you that from everyone at the Friendliest Campus in the South, they want to wish you congratulations on this great accomplishment, and they cannot wait to have you at JSG. So students, yeah, numbers 1 through 65, if you would, please line up on um, the wall to your right. First, we will start with Melanie Allward. Heather Anderson. Jamal Beard, Ethan Borders, Jacob Brown, Jacoby Burks, Ryan Burks. Kinsley Gregorio, Brittany Griffith, Raymond Hawks, Matthew Henderson, Sydney Oliver. 
Matt Omri. Carly Harris. Drew Patel. Maria Peterson. And now for the University of Alabama Huntsville Scholarships, we 
Peter, Don Hoskins. Joan Lang and Jessica Lopez. The All the University Never Accomplished Scholarship for Transfer Students goes to William Amaya. The Auburn University Fall and Ruth Walton Fall Carver and Dallas Scholarship and Auburn University Never Accomplished Scholarship goes to Gage Colbert. Students line up if you were numbers 93 through 113. 93 through 113, please line up on the wall on the left. Our next award is BBBA Compass Bank. The BBA Compass Bank Scholarship is a one-term endowment scholarship with a GPA minimum of 2.5. The recipients are recommended by the Technical Committee and approved by the Scholarship Committee. And these recipients, the first recipient is Cody Hearn. Cody is the son of Stacey Hearn and Alicia Gillen. He graduated from Randolph County High School in 2019 and he'll graduate from Edison State with an associate's degree in Electronic Engineering Technology. After Gadsden State, he plans to get a job at Southwire, and his long-term goal is to have a long and successful career in electronic engineering. The second award is Seth Henderson. He's the son of Donna and Chris Henderson. He graduated from Southwire High School in 2019. He will graduate Gadsden State with two degrees. One degree will be in electronic engineering technology, and the other will be in industrial automation. After graduation, she plans to work with her savings plan in Tuscaloosa and have a long, successful career there. The third recipient is Bradley Kaling. Bradley is the son of Renee Brown and Rodney and Dominique and Ted Kaling. His grandparents are Jerry and Linda Kaling. He will graduate at the Senate with electrical engineering degree, and after graduation, she plans to tra transfer to JSU and graduate with an engineering degree. His long-term goal is to have an elementary business one day. Our next recipient is Ronaldo Mendoza. He's the son of Francisco Mendoza and Pascual Valenzuela. He graduated from Hall High School in 2018, and he'll graduate from Edison State with an electronics technology degree. After graduation, he plans to work as an electronics engineer, and he wants to dedicate his degree to honor his brother, who motivated him to go to college. Thank you. Our next awards are our Cardinal Foundation Awards, and these awards are funded by the Gadsden State Cardinal Foundation, which supports Gadsden State Community College in a variety of ways, including scholarships for students. The Cardinal Foundation scholarships are as follows. The Cardinal Foundation is a uh, $1,500 scholarship awarded to a student with a minimum of 2.75 GPA, and it's funded by individual donors such as faculty and staff who made a monthly contribution to the Cardinal Foundation. The recipient of the Cardinal Foundation Student Access Scholarship is Vernon Jace Jelks. Is Vernon here? Is Jace here? All right. The Gerald Acker Scholarship is a $2,000 scholarship awarded annually to a first-year student in the Electrical Technology Program, and students must have a GPA of 2.75. This year's recipient of the Gerald Acker Scholarship Award is Trevor Arnold. The Alabama Home Builders Association Construction Scholarship is a $600 scholarship awarded to two students pursuing a degree, degree in the construction program. This year's recipients are Hudson Howell and Trey Mitchell. The Swoop Sprint 5K Scholarship is a $1,500 scholarship awarded to a student enrolled at any Gadsden campus, nursing or pre baby students excluded. A student enrolled in the technical program and a student enrolled at Gadsden State Charity. And students must have a 2.75 GPA. And the scholarships are funded by the Swoop Sprint 5K run. It's a fundraiser hosted by the Cardinal, uh, by the Cardinal Foundation. These two recipients 
are Isaiah Waller and Rob Corker. The Gadsden State College Alumni Association. The Alumni Association offers scholarships annually with funds from our Alumni Association membership dues. These scholarships would not be, made, would not be possible without the support of our members. And the recipients are selected by the Alumni Association Scholarship Committee, which consists of our board members. The recipient is awarded a scholarship based on the following criteria. A current student at Gadsden State with a, the, uh, a completion of 24 credit hours prior to the scholarship term and an overall GPA of 2.5. The student must submit a resume, be an Alumni Association member, and answer the following question. They have to describe their educational goals, their career goals, and explain how receiving the scholarship will aid them in achieving those goals. The student has also submitted a letter of recommendation from a current faculty or staff member. And this year's recipient is Torrance Tory Morgan. The student at Lincoln Griffith Scholarship is an endowment scholarship in memory of Sue McLean Griffith the mother of Dr. Charles Griffith, Lieutenant, Lieutenant General Clark Griffith, and Anita Hill. Now, Ms. Griffith was a longtime nursing instructor at Gadsden State and at JSU. The scholarship recipient is recommended by the nursing department. The student making scholarship recipient is Mary Haynes. Mary has a wife and mother of one foster child. Her, she desires to become a nurse and become a vet, and she and her husband went on mission trips to medically underserved, underserved countries. She saw how important medical care was to those who have never seen modern medicine, and she chose Gadsden State to pursue a nursing degree and, and, and instead to graduate in May 2022. The Neil Thomas Scholarship. The Neil Thomas Scholarship Award winner is Jana Croft. Jana is a wife and mother of two children pursuing a nursing career. She wants to do this as so she can give back to her community. She stated, I believe that showing kindness and love to others is one of the greatest things we can do in life. Janice has graduated in, in the night and weekends program at the Cherokee campus in December of 2021. <laughs> Next, we have the Jim Vandenberg uh, Technical Scholarship. Now, Jim Vandenberg was the son of two educators and began working at Gadsden State in 1980. First in the Career Development Center and then later in the, as an admissions counselor in the Enzer Student Center. In 1990, he moved to East Broad Campus to the position of counselor where he worked until his retirement in 2011. Jim found a passion for technical education and he was an advocate for the technical programs and shared his potential, his enthusiasm with potential students, with high school teachers, and with counselors. His goal was to help everyone he came in contact with and every student was important to him. And I can attest to that because Jim was here when I was here. His legacy of serving others will live on at Gadsden State in the Jim Vanderbilt's Technical Scholarship. And that legacy will be one of helping students succeed in order to make a better life for themselves and their family. The first Jim Vanderbilt Technical Scholarship goes to Angel Augustine, the son of Flora. Flora Augustine. His plans at the Gadsden State is to become a certified automotive mechanic, and his long-term goal is to have his own shop one day. The second recipient is Emily Chavez. She's the daughter of Carmela Trejo Andrade, and she graduated Gadsden High School in 2020. She'll graduate Gadsden State with a degree in welding technology. Her plans after graduating Gadsden State is to move to Texas and get a welding job. Her long-term goal is to have a long and successful career in welding. Students, if you were numbers 114 through 158, would you please line up against the wall, please? That's 114 through 158. Our next awards are our Rising Scholars Awards. The Rising Scholars Awards uh, awards those students that we um, actually see the potential to do great things. Everybody here, um, we see the potential of you, and we are going to especially recognize these Rising Scholars Awards. The first one goes to Tyler Hancock.
Melody Moore. Carol Archer. Maria Aguirre, <laughs> Dina Alquiza, Angela Anderson, Shana Ayers. Aaron Bailey, 
Joshua Barksdale. Elizabeth Barrientos.
India Johnson.
This year's award uh, winner has managed to distinguish himself by not only keeping a 4.0 GPA, but by seeking and pursuing opportunities to be fully engaged, even in the shadow of COVID-19 restrictions. In this time prior to the pandemic, he participated in campus activities ranging from international program events to DTK initiatives. Once the pandemic curtailed activities, this student actively saw opportunities to engage and serve as much as possible, particularly through more than one outdoor bed building project with Sleep with Heaven and Peace. The student uh, uh, presentations and serving as an international advisor to uh, prospective students. His enthusiasm for Gadsden State, his passion for his chosen field of study, and his optimism for the future have distinguished this 2021 Outstanding inter International Student, Chris Chi Chang Han. Thank you, Yes, we're going to give the uh, Student Governor of course. They will be next. Our outstanding SGA officer um, goes to the award goes to Maria Peterson. Next, we have an outstanding student in our board. That award is going to go to Abigail Henderson.
The member recommendations for Lambda Epsilon Chi Paralegal Honor Society and Outstanding Achievement in Paralegal Studies goes to Jasmine Soto. Students, if you are 243 to 274, would you please line up? 243 to 274. The outstanding students in chemistry goes to Lauren Henderson. Isaiah Navarro is 
not only decided in regards to his nature, but he's interested in going into some kind of STEM field. After Jackson State, he intends to go to Jackson State or the University of Alabama. He enjoys hiking, collecting, and hunting collective fall and collecting fossils, and 3D printing. His GPA is 3.886. The outstanding student in psychology. This goes to Unity Edwards. She's a native and current resident of Fort Payne, Alabama. She's excelled in academics since childhood, and she describes herself as incredibly shy, but some of her nominations, some of her achievements include nominations for the National Academy of Future Physicians and Medical Scientists Award of Excellence. And in 2018, she was chosen to represent Sand Rock High School at the National Union Leadership Forum for Medicine. Congratulations. Students, if you are numbers 275 to 352, would you please sign up? 275 to 352. At this time, we're going to give the Outstanding Student Awards to Applied Technologies and Engineering Programs. The Outstanding Student in Air Condition and Refrigeration is Christopher Nenick Bourne. The outstanding student in air conditioning in auto collision repair technology is Juan Vasquez. Juan Vasquez. The outstanding student in automotive manufacturing technology is Mason Finch. The outstanding student in automotive service technology is Justin Saxon. Outstanding student in civil engineering technology goes to Wesley Spiegel. The outstanding student in construction technology goes to Keith Barksdale. Outstanding student court reporting goes to Jenna Alders. The outstanding student in electrical technology goes to Steve Otto. The outstanding student in electronic engineering technology goes to Angel Leon. Salon Spa Management, Julie Street. Welding Technology, James Thurman. The National Technical Honor Society member recognition um, uh, is at this time. If you are a member of the, the National Technical Honor uh, Society, would you please stand up? Next is the Chad Hawkins Educational Foundation Scholarship. Fran Hawkins, president of the Chad, Chad Hawkins Educational Foundation, asked me to announce that Alan Black is the 2020-21 scholarship winner, and he was awarded this scholarship at a previous time. Alan is a math major and will receive a $4,000 tuition and educational supplies scholarship. Now for our finale, we're going to 
here to do the Outstanding Achievement uh, uh, Student Awards, President's Cup, and the Alan Ray Awards at this time. Outstanding Achievement. It's now time to present the 2021 Outstanding Achievement Awards for the Gadsden Service Area. These awards place special emphasis on those students who have overcome hardships or difficulties while attending Gadsden State, but still found success in their educational endeavors. The Honors Committee chose three very worthy students as recipients of this award. Our first recipient is a resident of Lincoln. This recipient has battled with depression and anxiety for years, and when she was seven, her drug addicted father left home. At the age of 12, she was molested by someone that she considered to be a friend. These events caused bouts of depression and ultimately led her to harm herself and even attempt suicide. After much encouragement from her pastor, she finally decided to enroll in Jackson State. Due to her experiences, she chose to pursue a degree in criminal justice. Through hard work and determination, this recipient has excelled in her studies, boasting a 3.68 GPA, is a work study student from the college, and has now been accepted to Jacksonville State University. One day, she plans to write a biography in hopes of helping others who are silently dealing with their own inner turmoil. She's the daughter, daughter of Rogo Reynolds. The outstanding award goes to Camelia Reynolds.
Did she used to sit in at the technical president's office and one of the presidents uh, has been on the president's list each semester at Jackson State and maintains a 4.0 GPA while working two jobs. He is a member of the PTKA and was awarded Outstanding History Student in 2020. His plan is to transfer to the University of Alabama to major in electronic engineering. He's the son of Chad and Michelle Sperling. This year's recipient of the Technical President's Cup is Jackson Cole Sperling.